This next example will give us a chance to show off some more Java functional interface classes, in particular, the supplier, which is actually not a class, it's an interface, it's a functional interface. And we'll also show the use of a custom functional interface that we're going to define. And we're going to use these in conjunction with various other features, such as Java constructor references to illustrate a pretty interesting example. So here's the first part. This is this is the CR demo class, which as you can see, implements the runnable interface. And therefore it's going to have a run method. If we look down somewhere, we'll find the run method. You can see the run method for this particular class is going to go ahead and print out the value of a field called M string. And here's what M string looks like. And then we're also going to have a static nested class called CR demo EX, which extends CR demo and CR demo EX is going to have a run hook method that uppercases what is uh, stored in the value of M string. So you'll see how we get to use these two things in some interesting ways here in just a second. So you can see that CR demo EX extends CR demo, which implements runnable. So CR demo EX also has a run hook method that in this case will print the uppercase value of the string. And here's the string that we're talking about here. The main program has two methods it runs. One is called zero param constructor ref, and this is called three param constructor ref. And we'll take a look and see how these things work. Here's the default constructor for CR demo. It sets the string to the lowercase hello. And then here is a three parameter constructor for CR demo that will take a string, an integer, and a long, and concatenate those things together and store them in the value of M string. So it's going to be a little bit more involved in that case. Let's now come down and take, and take a look at the zero param constructor ref method. And this method demonstrates how a Java supplier can be used as a factory for a zero parameter constructor reference. And here's how it works. We say supplier parameterized by CR demo, we give it the name factory, and we assign that to be a new, the, the new operator for CR demo, which is essentially the zero param constructor for CR demo. So CR demo colon colon new is a constructor reference that when invoked will create a default CR demo object. And the way we invoke it is by saying factory.get. So factory.get will end up invoking the constructor for CR demo make ourselves a new CR demo object, and then we will call the run method on that. And that will go ahead and print out the hello that we saw in the lowercase value. Here's a, another uh, example. This is called zero param constructor ref EX. And this is going to demonstrate uh, a few other things. So this is gonna demonstrate how we can create a supplier that will have a constructor reference or hold a constructor reference for the CR demo class. And then we make ourselves another local variable called CR demo factory EX, which is a supplier that holds a CR demo EX as opposed to a CR demo. That also is going to be assigned a constructor reference. But of course, in this case, it'll be the constructor reference for CR demo EX, not CR demo. And then we're going to call this helper method called run demo. And in one case, we'll pass in the CR demo factory. And in the other case, we're going to pass in the CR demo factory EX. So we're going to call run demo twice. And here's the run demo method. You can see that run demo is simply going to take a factory, which is either going to be the CR demo factory or the CR demo factory EX. And it's going to say factory.get. That'll make the appropriate type of object, either CR demo or CR demo EX. And then it'll go ahead and call the run method which will go ahead and run that method, which will do whichever thing we just asked it to do. So it creates the right object and then it runs it. And of course, that'll print out different values depending on which object we have created. And then we have yet one more example here. This shows off some other features of the uh, support in Java for constructor references. And this is going to create a local variable called factory that's an instance of an interface we defined. This is a functional interface we defined called tri factory. And you'll see why it's called tri factory if you look at it 
you can see that trifactory is just an interface that has three parameters, P1, P2, P3, and return value R. And it's of method, which we just defined to be whatever we want it to be, is going to be P1, P2, P3, and then it'll return an instance of R. And as you can see up here, we're going to give it the CR demo constructor reference to this version of the constructor. And the constructor was this version here, which as you can see, takes three parameters, a string, an integer, and a long. And when we went ahead and parameterized this thing down here, you can see that we parameterized trifactory with a string, an integer, a long, and it returns a CR demo. So we now have a constructor reference. And when we say factory.of, in this case, we can pass it three parameters, which will be the answer is, which is the string, four plus two. So it should print out the answer is 42, which is the, the answer to the life, universe, and everything. Those of you who are familiar with Douglas Adams' uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And then we call the run method to run that. So this is just illustrating some kind of fun examples of how you can use Java functional interfaces, including suppliers, as well as a custom functional interface we call Trifactory. And then we can use these in conjunction with Java constructor references to make objects that have variable numbers of parameters. And if we run this example, it'll say the answer is 42, which is what we just said. Um, any questions anybody has about this? Is it fair to assume that there's also a bifactory that only takes two parameters or, or, or a mono factory? I mean, is, I assume trifactory is part of a family of these? That's just something I defined. It, I mean, it was just my, it was my little interface. You can see it. I just, I said it was a custom interface. So I just made that for fun. You could have as, you know, there are of course other, other things like, um, you know, there's by function and function, which have apply with one parameter and two parameters and so on. But in this particular case, trifactory was just my own interface. All I'm really showing here is that you can create interfaces that have an arbitrary number of parameters and combine them with constructor references. Constructor references are sometimes, they sometimes give the appearance that they only work for zero parameter constructors, because that's how they're most often presented in the context of suppliers, where they're expecting to have no parameters. But I'm just illustrating that you can have as many parameters as you want, as long as they coincide with what the constructor reference that's being used to initialize your, your custom interface. In this case, we had a constructor with three parameters and we had a try interface that took three parameters and then returned the appropriate uh, object as a value. 